Hello, um, let's discuss the load line analysis of a semiconductor. Right, so this is the supply, this is supply with polarity plus here and minus here. And this is our diode, which is uh, the voltage drop is designated as VD and the resistor. Uh, so the load line analysis for the diode uh, will determine the the operation point of the semiconductor diode. So if you use the Kirchhoff's voltage law of this circuit, so if you consider E, so this is E, and the sign, you include the sign, if you remember the Kirchhoff's law, is plus, minus, and then minus. Okay? So E minus, so this is VD, then minus VR, this is equal to, Zero. So this is the um, where E is equal to VD plus VR. So by the way, uh, you can refer this topic to the book. No? So I'm using 11th edition. No? So this is, that's just a page 56. So this is the page 56. So just use your books and... Go to page 56, chapter 2. So, this is equal to E VD. So, voltage drop of the diode plus VR. So, you can determine the load line. So, we call this one the load line of the diode by um, equating VD equal to 0. So, if you let VD equal to 0, so this will be E um, well, by the way, this is E is equal to VD plus ID times R. So, meaning, the, since this is series, no? so, ang current three is equal also to ID. So, since this is Ohm's law, so, ID times R, so, VR is also equal to ID times R. So, substitute this one here, no? So, since this is VR, and then let VD be equal to 0. So therefore, this will be ID R. So you can calculate ID equal to E divided by R where VD is equal to 0 volts. No? So if you let VD be equal to 0, so you can calculate the maximum value of the diode. Current. Likewise, we're using the same formula, A is equal to VD plus VR. If you let ID be equal to 0, so therefore, E is equal to VD plus ID times R. So therefore, 0 money. So therefore, E is equal to VD or VD is equal to E. If we let ID be equal to 0. So, meaning these are the maximum points of the operation of the diode. So, ID is the maximum current the diode operates as well as ang kanipong VD is the maximum value where the diode operates. So, if you plot this one, if you plot this one, so this is, you can, ah, yeah, nagkuyog-uyog. So if you plot this one, so this is ID, ID axis, this is the voltage axis, so this is E over R, E over R is this one, ID, hmm? and then this is, this is the E, so connect the dots, so they call this one the load line, so the intersection between the characteristic curve of the diode and the load line we call this one the Q point. Hmm? No? Where Q stands for, uh, that is the quotient point. Q stands for quotient point. Quotient point. No? Quotient point. So, there we no? So, the operation of the diode. Dere, 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 
So the maximum current is this one. Then siya pwede mo lapas. And also the voltage. Terira po siya. Siya pwede mo exceed sa E. So the diode can be operational between in between this region. So load line is very very important in diode analysis. Especially in mag-design tag circuit using diodes. So, let's have an example. Example. Uh, this one. This is silicon. This is 0.5. Ay, sa'yo. Hindi na. Plus, minus. Ahem. So this example, no? so what we're going to do is to sketch the load line. Sketch the load line. So we'll do the same on the way. So So since this is the same circuit as this one, so we'll use the formula is equal to BD plus R. So in order to calculate, to draw the load line, sketch the load line, so we let BD equal to zero. No, ah, we are ni. Therefore, E is equal to ah, I D from the formula. This one is E divided by R, where E is equal to ten divided by point five kilohms. So therefore, I D is so this is ten and point five kilohms. This is equivalent to five hundred ohms. No, so you need to write the unit. Unit is very very important. So therefore, ten divided by five hundred. This is ah. This is equal to point zero two amps, no? But in electronics, as in other electronics or circuit subject, you don't try the current in this form. No, we start at point zero two. Ayo ina na so convert niya to milli so just milli milli amps milli equivalent niya siya sa one times ten to the negative three so milli so if you move this one three place so so if you move this one three decimal three places, no one, two, three, meaning that is negative three. Then extra zero there is. So therefore, this is twenty milliamps. No, this is the correct. Mani ang correct value. So you write it in milliamps. Sa nagay daga na kayo points. So meaning kung ato ni draw, draw na to ni kana. Ayan lang. So, we'll just calculate VD na po. VD is equal to E. Where this is equal to 10 volts. So, itong drawing on. So, let's sketch. So, sketching. So, this is ID in milliamps. This is VD in volts. So, ahaman ang 10. So, kung ito na yung 20 man eh, ah, by, ano na eh, by 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Ito na rin, rin, 10 man eh. 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, this is milliamps man eh. So, this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. This is 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Huh? So, since this is silicon, silicon ni siya. So, meaning, yung characteristic curve na, ano rin, no? Musaka siya balik 0.7 oh, So, nani siya sa 0.7 volts Silicon man Then you This is the E This is the Highest current And then So, this is the load line And this is the This is the Q point Muna ato ang Q point no? So, in order to determine the Q point, so you need a very accurate, you should have a very accurate drawing or a graphing paper in order to know this point. So, sub book, that is equal to sub book, you refer to the book. So, this is equal to this, this one is equal to 0.78 volts. There they go. This is 18.5 milliamps. So that is the Q point.